Hello viewers, welcome back. So starting this series, we will have a couple of series on the topic or the playlist of tally data management. So as part of tally data management, we will start with a very important activity or task for every organization or company where they are maintaining tally data. It is very, very important for all of these entities to take a backup of their tally data on a regular basis. So in this session, we will understand the steps or the mechanism of Tally's backup facility and we will see how you can make use of this facility and start backing up your data on a regular basis. Let us go to Tally and explore the backup option. Backup of Tally data is an important activity that every organization need to perform on a daily basis. What is the need for backup of tally data? The reason for backup of company data is to safeguard from any of the following untoward incident. Your hard disk might crash. There could be a virus attack. Data could be in bad sector. Sometimes data may get corrupted due to power search, etc. Tally has a facility to repair the data, which is actually rewriting of the data which the user can perform from Tally Prime itself. Sometimes, even when you rewrite the data, the data might not be recovered. So under such circumstances, you land up with losing your entire company data. That is where the backup data is going to play a critical and crucial role in recovering your data as on the date that you have backed up your company data. Let us now learn step by step the procedure to take backup of the company. Before that, it is important to keep in mind that the backup data ideally should be stored in an external storage device rather than placing the backup on the same device. Let me share an idea of the best practice of backup. Observe the screen here. So you can create a backup folder name, for example, as tally data. I have given it as D colon. Probably you can have a backup folder created on an external hard drive. So example is you let us say that you are creating a folder called tally backup and every time when you are taking a backup it is advisable that you create a subfolder on the day you take a backup with an example that I have given the date of the backup you can enter as the name of the subfolder. So this way every time you take a backup you create a fresh copy of the backup. So just in case if you are trying to take a backup on the existing backup, probably slim chance of the backup data getting corrupted. So ideally, you can create this 10 days backup as an unique and individual backup. And later on, depending on your hard disk space, you can delete the previous days and keep creating new backups. And at any given time, you can decide whether you want to have 10 days backup or 15 days backup. The choice is left to you. So I have selected this company, Potential Solutions. You need not have to really select the company for taking a backup also. Let me just show you how without selecting a company also you can take a backup. You can take the backup of the company without even selecting a company. So if you observe here the top menu bar, you have this menu of data. So all data related action that you are going to perform will be available under this main menu of data. When you click on data, under data, you can take backup, restore the backup that you have already taken. You can also configure default data path. Let us select backup. Observe this screen carefully. If you see now, Tally is asking you, where do you want to take backup? So it is asking you backup destination path. By default, it will take C drive or D drive based on the configuration. So now we would want to create a separate folder for tally data to be backed up. So how do you now specify the folder? Now there are two ways. So before you specify the folder, take the cursor to the field 
where you want to specify the folder for backup to happen. So press backspace. Now the cursor is there in the backup destination path. If you have already created a folder for taking a backup, you can select from drive like the Windows Explorer and then you can select that folder or if you know the name of the folder, you can specify the folder path or if you want to create a new folder, you can also do that from within tally by clicking on specify path. So let's create a new folder, select specify path, enter. Now it is going to ask you the folder name and the file path. Let me enter as d colon backslash tally backup and I can also create a subfolder like the way I said let us take the backup and provide the name of the folder on the day we take the backup. So I'm going to again say backslash and I'm going to enter 011122. 1st of January 22 is the date on which I am taking the backup. So enter. Now if you notice here tally says that this folder and subfolder does not exist on the drive tally is asking you do you want to create the folder so all you can do is just press y for yes or just press enter so the moment you press enter tally would have created the folder under d drive and the subfolder which is 011122 let us quickly go to the d drive and see whether tally has created this folder so this is the new folder that we have created and under this folder, we have created a subfolder with the date on which we are taking the backup. So double click here. And if you notice, you will see a subfolder being created here. Let's just minimize this. And then now you see on the right hand side, the tally has taken you to the newly created folder. But your backup destination path is still blank. So what you do? You come, your backup folder is already selected, press enter, make sure that your backup folder is selected here and now by default tally will give you the list of the companies which are created under your default data path. So these are the companies that are there under the default data path. Now you can decide the company that you want to take backup so tally provides you to take multiple companies backup at the same time for example i can select this brahma enterprises then i go to potential solutions private limited okay or i can select all company also so if i want to take just these two companies backup i can go here and then click on end of list so when i click on end of list now tally is asking you whether it can take the backup of these two companies that you have selected. Now the best part here is that when you come here, let us say you want to take a backup of another company which is in a different folder, which is not there in the default folder. So how do you now go and select the company from a different folder? Again, you have this choice where if you know the name of the folder, you go select from drive or if you know the name of the folder you can specify it so let us now go and then say select from drive i'll say d drive and i have another folder called induction under that when i enter now there are three files under the folder of induction which is in a different drive so i'm going to take the first company here you will now notice Ganeshji Enterprises is also selected for backup which was in a different folder. Now you come back and then say end of list and press enter to accept. So now Tally is performing the backup activity. Tally has already taken the backup of these three selected companies. Let us now go to the folder and see whether Tally has taken the backup to make sure that the backup data is available in the folder. This is the subfolder we have created. Double click, go inside and now you will see the three companies that you have selected. Tally has taken the 
backup. So the file format is tbk900 underscore and the company number that tally allots when you create the company. So this is company number 10,000, company number 10,005 and 9999 company. These are the three companies. This backup is in a zip format, which means you cannot double click and then see what is inside or you can't specify this path and then try to read this file from within tally also. Tally also will not recognize this file until and unless you don't restore this data. So in the next session, we will see how we are going to restore this backup data. I hope this session would have given you a clear understanding or clarity of the steps of taking the backup of your tally data. So we also realized that it is very, very important and critical for you to have a regular backup of your data, not just on the device that you have your tally data, but also make sure that you have an additional copy of the backup on an external storage device. So in the next session, we will understand how to restore this backup in case if you want to restore this data on account of your existing tally data, maybe it would have got corrupted or it is rendered useless. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.